spent nearly half a billion pounds on a new ship, you'd expect a substantial fanfare or even a short tribute to Queen. And for P&O's new ship Britannia, it was to be a truly regal launch. The Queen, joined by the Duke of Edinburgh, arrived in Southampton to do the honours. I name the ship Britannia. May God bless her and all who sail in her. The bottle smashing has a more high-tech twist these days. With the push of a button, the bottle was on its way. And to promote the best of British, it was a sparkling wine from Sussex rather than your usual champagne. It did brilliantly it did. For a ship this size, of course, you need a flurry of celebrity chefs. The likes of Marco Pierre White and James Martin on best behaviour as the royal couple were given a guided tour. Prince Philip paying particular interest on the bridge, not surprising for a man who once served in the Navy. Built in Italy, it's not just enormous in scale, it's also come with a large price tag of £473 million. Some have said it's a big gamble for the cruise ship company, but they argue the investment will pay off. She's going to perform very well. Her initial inaugural cruise uh, was the fastest uh, cruise, inaugural cruise, um, to sell out in the history of the P&O brand. So uh, a lot of excitement about her. Uh, we're we're prou very proud to add her to our fleet of now 101 ships across the corporation. Just the name would have brought back happy memories. The Royal Yacht was also called Britannia, used by the family for over 40 years. In its first year, this latest edition will sail over 90,000 miles to 31 different countries. For the royal couple, it was time for a less momentous voyage back home. Rhiannon Mills, Sky News.